Alrighty, uh, it's time for a different kind of video. And uh, in this video, I will be showing off this new cab that I just bought to restore and kind of play with and tinker with. And the fun part about it is it's an Extreme Plus cabinet. And so since a lot of people haven't seen Extreme Plus and don't know what it's all about, I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can. Uh, there's some stuff I don't know, like I still don't know who made Extreme Plus. It's a hack of Extreme with some custom graphics and the ability to make songs faster than they should be, which is a really interesting kind of mechanic. Um, but actually it overclocks the uh, 573's processor, and so uh, it's actually pretty bad for the machine. So uh, it's gonna happen though, so uh, nothing really I can do about that. Like especially, so it's when it starts up, it like the first round or whatever, like it seems to constantly be at plus 20%, um, and then it, tends to go away after that. So I'll show it off a little bit. Um, regarding the marquee, that is not chocolate milk, that is not a sand dune. I've heard those things. That is a girl holding, like lifting her arms up or something. And so that's the side of her. Um, so none of the other things. So I've got it in a uh, test mode right now. So let's just main menu or whatever. So let's start. New features, cool. Like what? Oh, you're not gonna tell us. So uh, some of the some of the graphic, like a lot of the graphics are replaced. A lot of the um, uh, text is translated. This is an example of stuff that's not um, just get fit. Um, stock photo, probably. Who knows? Um, notice how plus is in all caps here, but not in all caps on the marquee. That's kind of cool. Here's how it's sped up. Also, the arrows are uh, blockier. You see, they're not as fluid. Um, strangely, the freeze arrows note skin is the same. So you'll see freeze arrows that come up and they look the exact same as they do in normal extreme. Um, but for some reason, every like just normal arrows are not like that. So this will be a so this is sped up. You'll see, it's pretty funny. Um, so you'll see some freeze arrows in this little demo, um, and you'll see, see they're just, they're, they're normal. It's really strange. Um, so, as far as the cabinet, lights work, which is pretty good. Um, I've still got a lot of restoration to do with it, I want to rehaul the pads. Um, you know, there's like a gunk on by the Konami thing, I want to clean that up. Um, and install just normal vanilla extreme. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything after this. Uh, high scores thing. Um, I don't think I don't think it's necessary. So let's pop in some credits. Dance, dance, revolution. And Next slippery when wet. Pretty cool. So it's plus twenty percent right now. So look, look. In order to how it's a uh, single player, it's just a uh, it's English translated, and choose play mode up here. With the arrows all the way over there. It's kind of fun. Change the graphics for these, so beginner, if you're a white guy, um, if you're that girl on the marquee, you're light, uh, if you're some bimbo with a tit hanging out, you're on standard, and if you're some sort of assassin woman, you're on heavy. Um, more white people for non-stop, and a uh, big black guy comes back for challenge, so um, we'll just do heavy. Yeah, so it's all kind of orangey. You can see the background is like different. It's not the blocky kind of green structure. It's just a sort of a bland uh, orange with uh, some silhouettes placed everywhere. So it's like Nightcore edition. It's crazy. So I don't know really what to pick. I'll just I'll probably just skip the gameplay. It's a uh, or I'll play. Uh, Probably quick enough, so I'll play this on something that's lighter, though. Just do light. This pad doesn't work very well, so bear with me.
Ah, we're gonna fail. That was kind of not a very good uh, video experience. It's pretty normal otherwise. Uh, still weird. Marquis probably flat, like, like just like a piece of paper. Feels very like. I still have to like take it. Actually, it might be plastic. I really feel. I should have picked something with freeze arrow so was, I could show off the freeze arrow weirdness a little bit more. But. So it looked like the song's over pretty quickly. Okay, so it did let me pass. That's normal. So we'll try something. We'll try. I'll just do this on the stand so it fails out. Hopefully it fails. Turn on. Pretty normal. Let's pop in a few more credits. So now I think this should be normal speed. Let's see if I'm right. Oh no. Here's a new, like this is the, I don't exactly know how this menu works. I don't know when you're supposed to press these things, but that's how you're supposed to speed up. Um, the songs, very bad. So, Select music. is that normal? Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, this is normal now. So somehow it went from being not normal to normal. Yep. So I don't know if I like, I really don't know if you're supposed to clear that menu. I, I should test it, but I kind of don't also want to speed things up. So now it's back to normal. So. Wow, this pad sucks. Got a lot of work to do. So it's like not a modifier. They didn't like hack it in as a modifier. It was strictly as a, uh, as this like custom thing. Yep. So it's kind of extreme plus in a nutshell. Um, I'll take the disc out at, at some point and see what the disc looks like. Looks like, um, but it's pretty boring. Other than that, um, in any case, uh, hope this was a little bit eye-opening as to what uh, extreme plus looks like. It's similar to Mega Mix. Uh, Mega Mix feels much more like a hack job because it doesn't actually do anything new. It sort of just replaces some graphics, but not all of them, like the, like the difficulty select. Um, it has those mechs and says, uh, don't fall off, but no, like, no apostrophe. So at least this seems a little bit put together better, but it's still very strange. Um, so yeah, so I hope you liked this little video, and uh, catch you soon.